Hey, everybody, you probably heard about the controversy involving the Dakota Access Pipeline, and you may have heard about the Black Snake Prophecy, but what you probably have not heard yet is how the Sioux prophecies connect to the Bible prophecies, specifically in the prophecy in Daniel. Over the past few years, we've looked at the recent fulfillments of the Daniel prophecy. Most of what you see on this timeline are fulfillments of the book of Daniel literally hundreds or thousands of years after the book was published. According to these fulfillments, it looks like the desolation is due to occur sometime between 2017 and 2024, with more emphasis on this year for several reasons. But the Sioux prophecies are also pointing to 2017. So let's look at how the Daniel prophecy connects to the Sioux prophecy. In Daniel chapter 4, verses 13 through 16, it talks about a vision that the ancient king of Babylon saw. It was a vision of a giant tree that was cut down, and the stump of that giant tree was left in the grass. The giant stump, it says, will be given the heart of a beast and will be passed over seven times. And here's where it gets interesting. There's a giant natural monument called Devil's Tower in the northeastern corner of Wyoming. The monument looks very much like a giant tree stump. Scientists say the monument is made of igneous rock, which is formed by hardened lava. So whether there's an actual giant tree stump under that hardened lava, we don't know. I don't think anyone has actually drilled through the whole mountain to find out. But the book of Daniel is almost entirely symbolic. So whether Devil's Tower is actually a tree stump or just a pile of lava that looks like a tree stump is not important. The important point is that it does look like a giant tree stump. The second point is that this giant tree stump is located on the Sioux Reservation. The Sioux have recently come into the mainstream media spotlight because of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which is due to be drilled under a significant source of water for the Sioux tribe living at the Standing Rock Reservation. The building of this pipeline was announced on June 25, 2014. Two years before the project was announced, Sioux tribe members were protesting the proposal of the project. This is an article that was put out by the Huffington Post in April and May of 2013. Keystone XL and Native Americans, South Dakota tribes fight the black snake. It says that in March of 2012, 70 members of the Lakota Nation were appealing to the truckers attempting to pass through their territory to please stay out of their nation. So contrary to what some people are saying, the Sioux Nation members were protesting this pipeline long before construction began. The absurdity of the pipeline's path raises many questions. You can see that the pipeline starts in Stanley, North Dakota, and they want it to go to Patoka, Illinois. It's obvious that the most economical path for them did not involve crossing the Missouri River. They went way out of their way in order to cross the main water sources three times. Why? I should point out that the Missouri River is a major source of water for not only the Sioux tribe, but for the whole Midwestern United States. So there's obviously something very sinister about this pipeline path. It's clearly unreasonable to go hundreds of miles out of the way and dig tunnels hundreds of feet under three different rivers and lakes when they could have just taken the straight path to Illinois and avoided the reservations and those major river systems altogether. And there have already been other oil spills in the area just a few months ago. In addition to this, the oil pipeline is believed to be the black snake of ancient oral Sioux prophecies. The basic gist of the prophecy, according to many internet sources, is that once the black snake crosses Sioux territory, the world will end. Another post adds that, more specifically, once the black snake goes under the water, 
the world will end. The executive order that Trump signed on January 24, 2017, is meant to expedite the environmental review of the safety of putting the pipeline under Lake Oahe. The pipeline advocates have stated that they plan to finish the project by the end of 2017. That means they plan to go under the water sometime this year. In other words, the Sioux prophecy indicates the end of the world may occur this year. This is very interesting because one of the Lakota tribe members, the Lakota are one of the seven tribes of the Sioux, one of their members, Crazy Horse, who lived from 1842 to 1877, saw a vision of the end of the world. He said he saw a flash of light in the sky, followed by charcoal and ash falling from the sky. After this event, he said peace came to the earth again. The waters were clear and the people were happy. This is exactly what the prophecies in the Bible predict. Fire and brimstone will fall from the sky, caused by a star that falls to the earth and hits the sea. The book of Daniel calls this burning star a burning flame stone. Most of the Christian religions have not understood this prophecy, have misinterpreted it, and do not realize where we are on the timeline given in the book of Daniel. Daniel gives the details about all the empires that will pass from his time in 605 BC until the burning stone destroys the final beast or empire. The prophecy says Babylon the Great will sit on that final beast, which is the eighth kingdom, and Babylon will be destroyed by this stone from heaven at the end of 70 years. The 70 years start, it says, when the nations around Judah begin serving Babylon. So Babylon sits on the eighth king, and the eighth king arose in 1945. This tells us that the prophecy in Jeremiah 25 could not have occurred prior to 1945. Revelation 17 tells us Babylon the Great sits on the beast, and the beast is the eighth king. That means Babylon sits on the eighth king, which did not rise until 1945. The 70-year period begins once the nations around Judah begin to serve Babylon. So this may refer to the transfer of power of the lands around Judah from the British government to the United Nations, the Eighth King, in January and February 1947. So as you can see, it appears that the 70 years of the nations around Judah serving Babylon, sitting on the Eighth King, have just recently been accomplished. At the same time, the prophecy in Daniel 4 seems to refer to a monument that is on Sioux territory, which brings to light the Sioux prophecies, which are about the end of the world being caused by what appears to be an asteroid impact, and that occurring when the black snake goes under the water. And that is also due to occur in 2017, because the Sioux believe that the black snake refers to the Dakota Access oil pipeline which, again, is due to go under the water in 2017. There's also one more point in the Daniel 4 connection. Notice that it says the giant stump will be given the heart of a beast and will be passed over seven times. And there is another indigenous prophecy that says the change will occur after seven generations. In Daniel 4, the giant tree represents the king of Babylon at that time, Nebuchadnezzar, who was the first beast. Therefore, the cutting down of that tree represents the cutting down of Babylon the Great. So this is very interesting that the Daniel prophecy is pointing to this time period, the end of the 70 years of Babylon, while also pointing at the Sioux territory, which is also under a prophesied assault at the end of the 70 years. So we have at least two different ancient prophecies from opposite sides of the planet indicating that we are at the end right now, this year. For more information on this timeline, you can watch the playlist Bibles Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue, linked here. 
Thank you to those who have been making this work possible. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please consider providing support. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you next week.